Time to play with some clay. All right, today I'm uh, putting texture in the uh, blanket that he has wrapped around him. It's not a robe, a skin or anything like that. It's a trade blanket. It would probably be a Hudson Bay blanket. They were highly sought after because uh, they'd been traded uh, to Native Americans in the Americas and up in Canada, well, since the 1600s. This leg is in the way, that's why I'm taking it out. Trying to work on the wrinkles in the back. And I'm going to change position of my cutting board so it's more useful. A lot of you ask me occasionally in the comments of my videos how my eyes are. For some of you who don't know, I was blind in one eye last year and could barely see out the other one. And uh, I ended up going to a retina specialist to uh, get some uh, medical care for my eyes. And had to go through a series of shots in my right eye which was uh, almost blind because of uh, a growth of uh, veins in the gel of my eye caused by a vein exploding when I went to high altitude and uh, it's improved quite a bit since then but anyway, I'm actually seeing a whole lot better. Um, I've been using glasses uh, that you, know, you buy at the drugstore to help me see detail. Um, they're, you know, like a little stronger than what I had. And now I can see with my regular glasses a lot be better than I could last year and, and quite honestly up to now. So things are improving but it's just slow. Take one day at a time. <laughs> That's all you can do. just didn't like the uh, position of that blanket right there. So I'm just uh, reshaping it a little bit. It's a lot easier to do it this way than 
with the uh, wire tool. thing you don't want to do is hit your finger. <laughs> I used to have a big paddle that I could do this, you know, just pound on it until I got it in shape, but I don't have that anymore. So. When you're doing a monumental piece, there are areas that need to be rounded and need to be uniformly rounded, and using a paddle will help, and I'm going to have to get me one. better. It's unorthodox, but hey, a tool is a tool, no matter where it comes from. I got too many tools on my table here. Occasionally you have to clean off your cutting board, and that's what I'm doing right now. But you probably can't see it because it's out of frame. Okay, now I can work a little bit better.
you see there's a kind of a crooked line there and I want to straighten that line out so the best way to do that is with my hammer and I think I dropped it yeah There, now it's more in line. Gravity has a lot to do with uh, how a robe hangs and the uh, curve or the uh, fold of the robe would not have a sudden popping out on one side so a hammer and a board adjust that nicely All right, uh, that's going to be it for today. I was hoping to get to the uh, braids, but uh, just didn't. Just ran out of time. I got to stop so that I can put this out tonight on my video. And uh, if I don't stop at a certain time of the day, the video won't be done until midnight, and I hate doing that. So, till next time. All you in Florida and Alabama, in the direction, in the path of that uh, hurricane, please take care and uh, be safe. I want you here next time I sculpt. Good night, everybody, and my prayers are with those who need them. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.